so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to install cleric in react so let's get started so the first thing you need to do is create an account on cleric to do that just go into this sign in and then click on sign up here you can use the email and password to create an account if you do this, you will get an email verification code in your email. Use that and then you'll be able to log into your account because using that verification code, you will be able to verify your email account or you can use GitHub or Google. That's also an option, but I have already created an account. So I'm going to use that one. So after logging in, you will be able to create a cleric application using this option. But I'm going to use this one to show you how to integrate Cleric into your React app. But first, I'm going to show you how it can actually create an application like this one. So click on Create Application. And here, you'll be presented with this signup component. This will be the basic React signup component. So you can add in more options like the username or GitHub or whatever one you want, depending on your use case. But I'm going to use the one that I created. So you need to go into configuration and if you scroll down, you will be able to see API keys. Okay, click this. Here, select React as an option, okay? So you'll see a API key. Do not share this with anyone, but I'm going to show you how you can use this to integrate Cleric into your React app. So here you need to first install Cleric into your React app and I have done a fresh installation and also installed React Router into this. So here you first need to install Cleric for React. So to do that, just type in the command npm i at Cleric slash Cleric dash React, then press enter. So now this is done installing Cleric. Now I'm going to show you how I have set this up first. So you have a basic understanding of this. So I've just added React Router DOM, added the router routes, and then a route. So next you need to get your Cleric key and add that into your React application and also add in the Cleric provider to your React app. To do that, just go into the main.jsx file. Here, we're going to add in the Cleric provider. Now this Cleric provider requires a API key from Cleric, but to add our API key, we need to add in a .env file, which is for environment variables. Here we're going to add in our API key environment variable. So I'm just going to copy this, make sure the option is React. I'm just going to paste it in. I'm obviously not going to show you my API key, but you need to add in a API key here. Okay, so I'm going to save this one. And here the cleric provider requires you to add the API key. So first we need to get that. To get our API environment key variable, we're going to import that in first. So I'm going to do constant cleric key and you can name this whatever you want. So next you need to do import dot meta dot env dot and then the name of the environment variable. You can also add a check using an if statement. If not cleric key then throw an error. Next, we need to add the cleric key into our provider. I'm going to save this. Next, in my pages, I'm going to set up the sign in and sign up component to sign up our user and log in our user. And this is going to be the simple setup. Okay, you can add whatever styling and everything else you want. So I'm going to call this login dot gsx, and the other one is going to be sign up. I'm going to add in the sign in component.
and I'm going to add in the sign up component. Next in my routes, I'm going to add in both of these as routes. Next, I'm going to add in the links. Okay, next I'm going to start up my server. So now we have our sign up and login buttons. I'm going to open both of these up. So now we have our sign up component. I'm not gonna sign someone up, okay? This is pretty straightforward, but I already have a few users in my Cleric app. I'm gonna show you how to log in. And to check whether we have logged in or not, we can use the user button component that comes with Cleric. as you can see we are logged in as this user so this is how you can set up cleric in your react app so i have a lot of other tutorials on how to use cleric with react so you can go and watch those if you want more information on how to use cleric with react so i hope you like this tutorial like and subscribe to stay updated on the latest tutorials and i'll see you in the next one bye